Hi, I'm Andrew Connell. In this screencast, I want to demonstrate how you can create a SharePoint Framework developer environment that is going to allow you to create, test, debug, and run SharePoint Framework solutions for any SharePoint de uh, deployment. Um, that includes SharePoint Online, as well as the various SharePoint on-premises uh, deployment options. You're going to see how to do this with both Mac OS and with Windows. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I want to do is with SharePoint Framework or SharePoint Server 2016. And this assumes you have Feature Pack 2 uh, is going to be installed. Now, I'm not going to go take the time to go through and stand up all the deployment stuff. The idea here is that I want to show you how to set up your developer machine on how to create SharePoint Framework solutions. So you've still got to go do all the prereqs about standing up uh, a uh, your SharePoint Server deployment, making sure Feature Pack 2 is installed. Um, as well as all of the other stuff, like uh, making sure that app services are enabled and you've done, uh, you've created a, a tenant scoped app catalog and all that stuff. That's not a developer environment thing. To me, I'm focused just on the developer environment. I want to do, I want to make sure that my laptop is set for me to create SharePoint framework solutions. Now, uh, as my blog post that I've linked to in the notes associated with this video, as that's already um, shown, uh, what I want to do, what we know is, is that I have specific versions that I have to apply to this. So I know things like SharePoint Server um, is 2016 is only going to support uh, SharePoint Framework 1.1, um, which I know is only going to work with uh, Node uh, v6. Um, if you want to see all the details about all these different version numbers and everything, go check the um, the link in the in the notes associated with this video. Uh, that so you can go read the blog post where it explains all of that stuff. The point of the screencast here is just to see how it works. So what I want to do is I'm going to jump over here to my machine. And if I do a quick little NVM LS, I want to show you that I have no versions of Node installed other than a system version of Node. And that's just done. I did that by downloading the installer from Node.js and installed that version. I'm also using something called the Node version manager. Uh, that's uh, for uh, Mac OS. Uh, and it allows me to run multiple versions of nodes side by side. Um, that's going to be really important here for working with different SharePoint environments. Um, in addition, I have the same kind of thing on my Windows environment as well. Uh, if I wanted to go about uh, developing solutions and I was a Windows, uh, like a Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 11 user. Um, so let's go back. And, I've also, and like I said, I've got NVM installed on both of those guys. So the first thing I need to do if I want to go work with the SharePoint Framework uh, Server, uh, SharePoint Server 2016 Feature Pack 2 and create solutions for that, the first thing I need to do is I need to install a version of Node. So I'm going to do that by saying NVM install LTS Boron. Now, Boron is the version, is the code name for uh, Node v6. You can see that uh, listed right here on my list of all the different uh, options uh, that are available to me. Now I've got that just went ahead and installed Node very quickly. The one thing I do want to do, though, before I go any further with this, is I want to update npm. So I'm going to say npm install npm at 4 dash dash global. Um, now, what that's going to do is that's going to upgrade npm, the version of npm that's included with Node v6. That's going to uh, upgrade it to version 4 from version 3. And it's just a good idea to do this. I don't want to go all the way to the very current version of npm. Um, because there's no telling if that stuff's going to work for me and there's really nothing to really be gained from it uh, right now. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to install all the things that I need for creating SharePoint Framework um, projects. So what I'm going to do with that, I'll say npm install. I need gulp, the gulp CLI, and I'll take version 2.3.0. Um, I need yeoman version 2.0.0. We're going to see we're going to have to fix this in just a minute. And then I'm going to need the generator for the Yeoman generator for the SharePoint framework. And that's at Microsoft slash generator dash SharePoint. Now, if you read the blog post, you'll see that I'm installing a specific version here, 1.6.0. And I'll explain why I did that specific version uh, while this is all installing in the background. The reason why we need a specific version of the generator is because when we create projects for SharePoint Server 2016 Feature Pack 2, it only has support for the SharePoint Framework version 1.1. We can't. We we can use a more current version of the generator to create a 1.1 project, but we have to make sure that we create one using that is still supported on the version of Node that 
SharePoint Framework 1.1 is supported on. So the SharePoint Framework 1.1 is only supported on Node LTS version 6. The latest version of the generator that we can use is version 1.6. And we want, so what that, all that does though, is that's just creating the project for us as a 1.1 project when we go to create it. So I'm gonna use the power of the video editing and I'm just gonna skip ahead and make sure that this, is, so we, before we, um, well, it's still downloading all these dependencies and we'll come back and we'll look at the next step. Okay, so we've got everything installed now. We're in good shape, almost. Now there's another thing that we can do uh, if we're on Mac OS uh, where NVM gives us the ability to create these things called aliases. So if I did an NVM LS right now, we can see that we've got this version 6.17.1 installed, but it's not really clear on exactly what that, you know, what that is uh, or if, what, what's installed in there. So a practice that I like to do is I like to create an alias or two aliases. The first one I create is one that refers to the version of the SharePoint framework and where it's installed. So I'll say NVM alias SPFX dash one dot or one, uh, yeah, 1.6.0. And that's going to point to version, uh, node version 6.17.1. Now, so now I have this alias. And what's cool about that now is that instead of having to type nvm use v 6.17.1 and have to remember, you know, which version of node do I have the SharePoint framework installed in that can work with on-prem 2016, I don't have to remember that version number anymore. I can now just say, well, I need to know it's in SharePoint framework you know, SharePoint Framework 1.6.0. But even better yet, I can create another alias that points to that alias, like this, that's SPFX SP2016. And that's gonna to point to SPFX 1.6.0, right? So if I come back over here and I do an NVM LS again, what you'll see here is I have these two aliases that I've created here, one for the version of the SharePoint Framework and one for the version of SharePoint that uh, I want to target. So what's cool about this now is if I said, you know, NVM use, if I was on um, system again, right? So now I'm on a totally different version. You can see that that's uh, node version 16. Um, one of the cool things about this now is that now I can just say, and I can even prove that by just going node-v, so we can see we're actually running, we'd be running on node uh, 16.8. I can now say instead, NVM use SPFX SP2016 and now I can see that that's now referring to the version of Node where I have my stuff installed for working with SharePoint Server 2016. Much easier to remember it that way. Unfortunately, we can't do that on the Windows version of NVM, but that's okay. Now, we actually gonna have a bit of a problem here. And let me show you what's gonna happen. Let's jump into a folder here where I can create a new project. So let's do SPFX-01, or we'll do this as 2016-01. And then let's uh, jump into this, uh, let's see. CD underscore like that. Okay, so now let's create our project. So I'm gonna say yo at Microsoft slash SharePoint. And I'm not, well, I don't know, I know it's not gonna matter. So I'm just gonna run it like this. I'm gonna get an error. And the error I get here, you see that it's pointing to these dot, dot, dot on options. Let me explain what the problem is really quick. If you see this error, then what the problem is, if you should see it, everybody should get this actually, if you're doing what I'm doing. The reason why you're getting this is because Yeoman has a dependency that it's installing called Yeoman-Environment. And when it refers to that dependency, it's referring to that dependency using a wildcard to say, I'll take any version of the Yeoman environment package that's version two or higher. Um, and I can see that if I go, let's see, um, code, let's see, how do I get this? We'll go to uh, .nvm versions node v6.17.1 lib node yo um, should be just package.json. Yep, there we go. And if I find the list of dependencies, there we go. See right here, it's got a, a dependency here listed as yeoman environment um, with the caret 2.0.0. And what that says is grab any version of yeoman environment, the most recent version as long as its major version is version two, but it can have, we want the, the most recent minor version and patch. Unfortunately, that creates a problem because starting with the Yeoman environment package version 2.8, 
it has a dependency on node v8. And what, how do I know that? Well, because that right there is the JavaScript, the dot, 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 that's the JavaScript spread operator that was not supported in node v6. It was only added, as, it was only supported in node v8 and further. Okay, so how do I fix this? So there's, uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this, but I think the simplest way of doing this is that right now, as you can see, the error is actually telling us where the problem is, that it's inside where Yeoman is installed. He has a, a node module subfolder, and inside that is where the Yeoman environment's installed. So what I can do is I can delete that install of the Yeoman environment, and instead I'll install a global version so that anybody in this node, this node environment that needs to use Yeoman environment, it'll find my global version and Yeoman won't look for the one that it's got locally, but I'll install a very specific version. So I'll say npm install Yeoman environment at 2.7.0. That's how you define a global, uh, that's how you define a very specific version you wanna install. And I'll just say global. And we'll let this install real quick. Okay, now that that's done, we have to uninstall the version of the Yeoman environment that was installed as a dependency by Yeoman. So with that, we know that that is, we can go back to that command we used a second ago, and I'll say remove RF, which is the folder, and I want to install yo slash, what do we have after that? Uh, I think it's lib, is that right? No, we have uh, node... That's not what I wanted. We want node underscore modules uh, and then yeoman environment. Like that. So we'll go ahead and delete that folder. Now, once that's done, let's now go, go, go back and create the, try and create the project and see if it works. And sure enough, now it is going to work. So it's the first time we're using yeoman. So it's prompting us to say, Are you sure you want to do this? I'm gonna to go to create this new project. So we'll say same name is good. We can see 2016 is an option. So I'll choose SharePoint 2016. Current folder is good, web part's fine. We don't care about any of this stuff. And we'll go ahead and just go ahead and create it like this. Now, I'm gonna stop this install um, because it doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna say code. Let's just open up this project and let's just verify that we've installed everything we need for SharePoint Server 2016. And if I come over here to our project and I look at package.json, and sure enough, we can see that everything is using the SharePoint Framework Libraries version 1.1.0. So this now, we have a project and we have a place set up that we can actually create SharePoint Framework projects for SharePoint Server 2016 on-prem. All right, so you've seen how to do this with Mac OS. Let me show you how to do it with your Windows environment. So here I've got Windows 10, and I've got uh, my desktop already set up. Um, what I'm gonna show you here is I am running Node right off the bat. I have a default version that's already installed. That's the system generated version. If I do an NVM um, LS, because I'm using the same Node version manager, but I'm using a Windows port of it to do the same stuff that we talked about doing um, in the Mac OS version. So let's go through and let's set everything up. Now, it's a little bit different working with Windows and specifically with NVM on Windows. And that's primarily because on Windows, we don't have the ability to use like the code names for the node versions, nor do we have the ability to create aliases. So we have to remember the versions where we installed stuff. So let's go ahead and start by installing a version of node that I know that we can use. So I'll say nvm install 6.17.1. You already noticed one thing that's a little bit different there in the sense that we don't have the V in front of the version number. And that's just a difference between the Windows port and the Mac OS version of NVM. All right, now that's installed, let's go through and upgrade NPM. So I'll say, um, well, first, actually, here's another difference. I have to actually tell it what version of Node I want to use because you can see I'm still on the old one that we had on our default. So I need to say NVM use 6.17.1. And then I can say NPM install NPM at version four dash dash global. So that's gonna upgrade the version of NPM to version four that I have in my node v6 LTS install. All right, now the next thing that we're gonna do is I can install everything uh, that I need for SharePoint framework development. Same exact stuff that we installed for Mac OS. That's an NPM install. I need gulp 
the Gulp CLI version 2.3.0. I need Yeoman 2.0.0, and I need the Microsoft Generator for SharePoint version 1.6.0, and we'll install all of these globally. Um, keeping in mind too, we're gonna have the same problem with Yeoman on Windows that we had on uh, with Mac OS. So we're gonna have to install another version of the Yeoman environment um, uh, package version 2.7. And we're going to delete the one that Yeoman's going to ins install automatically. All right, fantastic. We got everything installed that we need. We just got to fix up Yeoman. So I'm going to do that by saying npm install Yeoman environment at 2.7.0 global. And then I'm going to go find that folder where Yeoman, the Yeoman environment is installed. So we'll come over there, it's in the, um, it's in my profile. So I'll say, go to my A colon, it's inside of my app data, roaming, uh, NVM, we are in version 16, 17, node modules, yo, node modules. And it's this one at the very, very bottom, Yeoman environment, and we can nuke that one. Great, so now just to double check, npm list, uh, everything, show me everything globally and um, the depth, I only wanna go one level or no levels deep. Basically just show me the stuff that I've installed. This is gonna confirm that we have the right versions installed. Again, you can ignore all this stuff because all these errors, this is from the fact that we're actually working with a version of Node that is so old. I mean, it's many, many years old, but we're working with an old version of the SharePoint a framework in the old version of SharePoint server. So it's not really that much of a surprise. Um, it's just telling us that things are like, it's no longer applicable and blah, 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 but it doesn't matter. We're not using latest and greatest right now. So there we go. 1.6 for the generator. Gulp CLI looks good. Node looks good. Yeoman looks good. So let's go create a project. Uh, CD, what do we have? Oh, CD, we can go uh, CD C colon dev. There we go. Let's make a new folder, spfx 2016.01, cd spfx 01, and then we'll say yo at Microsoft slash SharePoint, skip install. Oh, can't type that. Let's try that again. I still didn't type it right. That's okay. We just, we'll stop it from creating the project. All right, so we'll say yes, we want to uh, go ahead and create New project, we wanna use 2016, current folder, it's a web part, all the other defaults, and then we will terminate it, we'll terminate this, and I'll say cat um, package.json. Oh, that's right, I'm on Windows. So I'll go ahead and open up the package.json in my uh, in the uh, Visual Studio code, and we can see create our project for 1.1.